the proto trans, you know, automated AI translation engine, right? Yeah, and it was so awful that I once wrote a short, like one act script in Babelfish. Like I wrote it in English, then I put it through Babelfish from English to French, French to Chinese, Chinese to Turkish, Turkish to German, German to French, French back to English, right? <laughs> and it came out as nonsense. It came out as nonsense and I loved it. But this was this was a joke. This was a joke that like, you know, you could write a script in Babelfish and it would sound and like run it back to you, you know, English and it would just come out as nonsense and and it, and it is like and like this is like I said, like this the use of Welsh in the moonshawl is Babelfish levels bad. That is that is not an exaggeration. In fact, like one of the native speakers who I initially went to well over a year ago at this point, um, when I first started thinking about how I'm going to do this review, how I'm going to script out this review. Um, and I just showed him a, a photo that I took of the glossary. Like this was um, on a um, on a Celtic languages uh, discord server that I'm on. One of the native speakers who I asked like an opinion from for this, he said this was a, his quote was embarrassing. He said this would be embarrassing, like Welsh. That is not my words, okay? That is not my words. I, I would say like, this is, this is Babelfish level translation. This is, this is not good. Like you can sort of see how these mistakes would be made. And I mean, thankfully, like most of how bad it is, is kind of like nitpickery. Like, like you can see how, like he was saying most of it was imprecise in their translation, but you know, still in that general area, which is adequate, I suppose. Like it's not terrible, but you know, it shows that no native speaker was consulted for a, at least a translation of the phrase, you know, or whatever. Um, but like the most common uses of Welsh in there are one, the name of a bill of a prominent building, which is Dur alark, but dur in Welsh means water. Euphemistically, it can mean urine. So if a native speaker was consulted, then this native speaker was trolling her and her editor. And her editor is a sweet person, but I have to come down on this book because this is babblefish levels of translation. Um, like the only reason dur alark, and not even dur, but dur, you know, not, you know, like you don't stress the, you don't stress the W there because, you know, dur um, would, but that's a grammatical mutation. Uh, Welsh has a lot of grammatical mutations and that's one of them. And, you know, but it, it would depend on what is prefacing this, but the base form of tower is tur, you know, you know, with, with the unstressed W, which makes an U, right, um, is, is tur, right, that is, so Tur Alark would be the proper name, but no, she goes with Dur with the, you know, with the little hat. I forget the name of that accent mark, but with the little hat over the W, which would stress it in Welsh for Dur, which means water, which means swan water. Dur Alark is swan water or euphemistically swan piss. So if a native speaker was consulted and is not credited as such, this native speaker was trolling them, which, you know, like, like, who did you piss off that bad, right? Uh, but, you know, and then there's the name of another prominent building in the book, which is Meadow Mind, M-Y-N-D. Mind is a Welsh verb meaning to go to or going to. So the name of this house is going to a meadow, which, and it's often simply referred to as simply the Mind or, you know, the going to, the going, the to go to someplace. And and this all this always like just just really threw off my th my flow when I was reading it on the bus because this makes no sense to call a house going somewhere like that that just makes no sense that just makes no sense but I mean like in context with the I don't know like there's I I'll get to that later I'll get to that later I've been ranting now just like. I'm so disappointed in, in the Welsh in this book. It's just, it's made me cry at times just trying to write this review and script out my thoughts for it. That just, I, 
It's so difficult. This is the hardest review of a book I've ever had to write. 